A cordial greeting. Today is Tuesday, October 21, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 6 a.m. local time in the Greater Antilles, where we continue to closely monitor Invest 98, which is close to strengthening into Tropical Storm Melissa. During the past night, we've seen the system continue moving westward. However, it has begun to slow down its forward motion, and the low-level circulation center remains displaced to the west of the strongest convection area, which means some wind shear from the west is still affecting the system. Although the disturbance is producing tropical storm force winds, it does not yet have a closed low-level circulation, and for that reason, it has not been classified as tropical storm Melissa. It is forecast to soon turn toward the northwest, where conditions south of Haiti will be favorable for strengthening into a tropical storm or possibly Hurricane Melissa. In fact, it could become stationary for several days south of Haiti, potentially causing a historic flooding event for parts of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. In the medium to long term, uncertainty remains about whether it will turn northeastward or move into the Western Caribbean. Regardless of which scenario occurs, heavy rainfall is expected for the Dominican Republic and Haiti, where residents should prepare for a prolonged rainfall event and significant flooding. If the disturbance takes a northeastward track, heavy rain is also expected in Puerto Rico over the weekend. However, if it continues westward across the Caribbean, it poses a greater risk to Jamaica and Cuba. The scenario in which it moves toward the Western Caribbean currently has more model support, although some models still show a turn toward the northeast. Model projections show a westward motion during the next 24 hours and then a very slow drift south of Haiti over the next five days. Some models even keep the system in this area for about seven days. This slow or nearly stationary movement will channel deep tropical moisture from the Caribbean Sea over the Dominican Republic and Haiti, producing excessive rainfall accumulations that could result in a catastrophic situation for the region. Global model projections similarly keep the system south of Haiti for five to six days, after which some move it toward the Western Caribbean and others toward Haiti and the Dominican Republic. If the system remains stationary south of Haiti over warm sea surface temperatures, conditions will be favorable for strengthening. Intensity models already show the potential for a Category 2 or 3 hurricane developing within 6 to 7 days once Tropical Storm Melissa forms and intensifies into a major hurricane. Looking at the ensemble members of the American model, we see a large discrepancy among different scenarios, some moving across the Dominican Republic and Haiti, and others tracking toward the Western Caribbean, threatening Jamaica and Cuba. The European ensemble shows a similar split, though the majority lean westward toward the Western Caribbean. In that case, the system could strengthen into a major hurricane as it moves toward Cuba and the Bahamas. The Google AI model ensemble has also shifted notably, with most members now keeping the system stationary south of Haiti before turning it westward, posing a serious threat to Jamaica and Cuba. Some of these runs even project a Category 4 or 5 hurricane moving through that region. Only a few now show a track over the Dominican Republic or north of Puerto Rico. When analyzing all ensemble members, two possible scenarios clearly emerge one track over Haiti or the Dominican Republic, and another into the Western Caribbean. Once again, the westward scenario appears to be gaining support among models. Let's review the latest global model projections. Starting with the European model, it shows a tropical storm forming within 24 hours and remaining nearly stationary southeast of Jamaica from Thursday through Saturday. Early next week, it moves westward across the Western Caribbean, strengthening into a major hurricane passing near or over Jamaica and Cuba between Tuesday and Wednesday of next week and then tracking toward the Bahamas by Thursday morning. Thus the European model continues to favor a path toward Jamaica, Cuba, and the Bahamas, with tropical storm and hurricane force winds affecting parts of Haiti, Jamaica, and eventually Cuba. Even if it does not cross the Dominican Republic or Haiti directly, deep moisture from the Caribbean will still produce rainfall accumulations of 250 to 300 millimeters, 10 to 12 inches, over the next five days in those countries. That westward scenario would be the best outcome for Puerto Rico where the heaviest rain would stay offshore. Now, looking at the American model, it develops a tropical storm within 24 hours and rapidly strengthens it into a Category 2 hurricane but turns it northeastward, crossing over Haiti and the Dominican Republic with a slow motion across the region. In this scenario, the Dominican Republic and Haiti would face the worst impacts, and Puerto Rico would also experience outer rain bands producing heavy rainfall and tropical storm force gusts. For example, the American model projects hurricane force winds affecting parts of the Dominican Republic and tropical storm force winds over Puerto Rico during the weekend. Rainfall accumulations could range from 400 to 500 millimeters, 16 to 20 inches, in the Dominican Republic and 8 to 12 inches, 200 to 300 millimeters, in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Meanwhile, 
The German model shows a track similar to the European model but brings the circulation slightly closer to Haiti and the Dominican Republic, maintaining a moisture flow from the Caribbean over the region during the weekend and producing excessive rainfall. It projects rainfall totals of 400 to 500 mm, 16 to 20 inches, in the Dominican Republic and 6 to 8 inches, 150 to 200 mm, in Puerto Rico. Lastly, the European AI model has shifted notably, it now moves the system near Haiti or the Dominican Republic, then stalls it south of Haiti over the weekend, later nudging it toward Jamaica, and by next week, bringing it back across Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Under this scenario, extraordinary and potentially historic rainfall accumulations are expected in the Dominican Republic, with totals exceeding 800 mm, over 30 inches, in southern areas over 7 to 8 days. In summary, Invest 98 is very likely to strengthen into Tropical Storm Melissa today or early tomorrow. While we still don't know its exact long-term track, we do know it will move very slowly south of Haiti, leading to extreme and potentially catastrophic rainfall and flooding across Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Under any scenario, Hispaniola is expected to experience excessive rainfall and historic flooding. For Puerto Rico, Jamaica, and Cuba, the impacts will depend on the storm's final track. If it crosses Hispaniola, Puerto Rico could see 8 to 12 inches of rain over the weekend with limited effects in Jamaica and Cuba. If it follows the European model's path, Jamaica and Cuba could face a major hurricane impact while Puerto Rico experiences minimal rainfall. My recommendation this morning is for our followers in the Dominican Republic and Haiti to prepare for widespread flooding over the next 5 to 7 days. Residents of Puerto Rico, Jamaica, and eastern Cuba should continue closely monitoring the evolution of the future tropical storm Melissa. Under this special coverage, I'll record another update this afternoon. Stay tuned to the YouTube channel, and to avoid missing any updates, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell. I hope you all have an excellent day. See you later.